Good morning! I'm back! Oh my goodness! I have been off for the last couple of days. The plague has been going around here and the kidlet had it. And then, I mean, I'm mama so I can't be like, don't touch me, you're sick! Right? Like, he wants to snuggle. What am I gonna do but snuggle? Hmm. And often, if we take care of ourselves, we can prevent getting that sickness even though we're in such close contact but I mean so for myself I do take care of myself as best as I can but sometimes we are overextended so we might not for myself it's I wasn't sleeping as much as I should have been or to the depth that I needed to be to feel healthy and full and nourished and to allow for my body to um, fight off the unwanted things that were coming in Anyway, so I've been off for the last couple of days. Thank you for your patience. I thought I was going to be able to come back yesterday, but you know, tail end when you start coughing and hacking, and I, I assumed you would not want five minutes of me coughing <laughs> if the tickle came upon me while I was talking. So I am back for the plant party month, and uh, so who am I and what am I doing? <coughs> Excuse me. Still in there a little bit. My name is Hilary Raven Porter, and I am an integrative healer and ascension guide and mentor. And what do I do, and why am I doing this? So I help people, you, as you are stepping over that threshold into the inner truth of your divinity, into those spaces where you are just like, hey, how I was showing up in the world is not how I actually feel nourished in showing up in the world. I was showing up in the world in a way that was expected of me. And you're making these shifts into this space that is more reflective of you. And those shifts take time. Those are movements. It's like if you move your house, you shift from your apartment into a house or just into a new space. That takes some rejigging, some reconfiguring, figuring out where things go. The cupboards might be organized differently. Maybe all the furniture you have doesn't fit anymore. Maybe you now have more space for more things that feel beautiful to you. It's the same as you. And why am I parting with the plants this month? I am parting with the plants this month because it is my birthday month. It's next week. I'm super excited. We have a full awesome day planned. A little pinball, a little cake, a little lunch out. A little gluten-free French toast. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Anyways, so the plants decided. They're like, I want to come and party. We want to come and party. We want to come and share our wisdom in celebration. And I'm super stoked for this because one of the modalities that I draw from, the wisdoms that I draw from, is the plant spirit medicine. And all the wisdoms that they have to offer us on a physical level, spiritual level, energetic level. So today, this person has been waiting patiently. This entity has been waiting patiently. Is... Black Walnut. Black Walnut. So Juglans Nigra is all about cutting those connections, those ties that bind, those entities that no longer serve us, those tethers that we end up getting with other people that we're like, this is no longer required. Or so the easiest example is when we're in a relationship and then that relationship ends. So it can be a romantic relationship, it can be a friendship, it can be a business relationship, but anytime we come into union with another person on whatever level it is, we get these cords that become attached to us, these energetic cords because we are working together. And sometimes those cords are kinked and they feel awkward, you know, those uh, interactions that we have with people. I have to work with this person or I have to interact with this person, but it doesn't feel good. I always picture those tethers, those lines, those energetic currents as they're not quite brilliantly. I usually see them as like this brilliant, soft pink with this glow around them, this yellow glow around them. But then you get those ones that are not quite right. And it just, they look weird. They look awkward. If you've ever read Stephen King's book, Insomnia, it's like those little guys that have these, the one guy comes and cuts the cord and it's like that cord and... Yeah. Anyways, regardless of the cord and the type of cord, but it's especially potent if there's a cord that's no longer serving you or the other person as well, right? I know it's often both ways. Something's draining. So black walnut goes in and removes those, severs those, especially when done with intention. Done with intention, it's super potent and super powerful. Sometimes we don't even know these things that are attached to us. Uh, the cords are often down your side, rib cage, 
right? It might be attached somewhere else, but that is the very common space. So there might be something that's attached to, whether it be an entity that's come in and decided, you know what, I'm going to feed off of you. I'm going to use your energy. I'm going to make you, utilize you to do these things for me. And so I, I picture those ones kind of like leeches, right? They're just kind of sucked on there. So to do it with intention, there is ritual you can also do with picturing the removal of the hooks specifically. Throw them into the fire and then dance around the fire, thanking for whatever they've served. So that one is really good when it comes to romantic relationships or um, pleasant relationships that you have had. Even ones that don't feel that they were necessarily the most pleasant. But you still want to be like, thank you. I love you. And leaving it instead of like, oh, I'm so done with you. Which we want to do a lot of the time. But difference in energy and will actually switch your vibration to do it more intentionally and with compassion, as challenging as that might be sometimes. So you picture these these hooks in the fire and whatever color flame is, is drawn to you. Mine's always a purple flame. And then picture that around. Oh, sorry, I have to sneeze. <laughs> so it's totally still lingering. Okay. No, I think we're good. Safe zone. Okay, so yes, cutting the cords, um, grounding. If you think of walnuts, you think of nuts in general, almonds, pecans, any of those things, they have this, they're heavy in fats and they draw down the energy. So even if you're not ingesting the fat part of the walnut, but that is very, very grounding. So if ever you're feeling up into your head and you're feeling that spinniness, that that sensitivity that is so much, you feel like you're floating and everything's kind of watery and a little bit disoriented. Ground yourself out into the earth. Food is medicine and food is powerful medicine. It's not just for nourishment. It's not just for celebration. Right? You're feeling up and flighty. There's so many foods. Potatoes draw you down. But here we're talking about nuts. So the walnut ground you out and draw you down. Okay. Yeah, keep your eye out. That's something that's come up and other people have asked for it as well as talking about different foods and different ways to eat when you're in these different states of, of ascension and shifting. All right? I'm going to make myself a little note so I don't forget so many things that I love to share and I get excited to share. Okay, negative entities. We talked about those. If you feel you are too much under the influence of another person, a thought, a plan, a scheme, something so it doesn't even have to be another person but like ruminating thoughts where your thoughts go around and around and around and around and you just can't seem to let them go cut the ties be like I'm done with you you are not serving me I'm not coming to a solution by repeating the same thoughts over and over and over and over and over again not required picture it as something make it like Perhaps the thought shows up to you as an orb and it's green and it has little yellow sparks coming off of it. You're like, okay. And then picture the tie and then cut it. And using juglins, using black walnut, it can be used as a drop dosing. I've often used it as a very small homeopathic style, style level of dose within a formula. Also, I've used it applicable on the skin searching energetically for where that cord is and then putting the drops on there also in a bath that just is like a full body like i want everything gone that is no longer serving me right an intention right cutting the cords of things that you don't want by still keeping the cords of the things that are still serving you another one is when you're using the juglins like uh the black walnut on the spot, but then actually physically picturing and like a knife, you can even take a knife only if you're over a certain age and you know how to use sharp knives. Is that like the little disclaimer they give at the bottom of infomercials? You have been 999 a minute, blah 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 blah. Anyways, that's what that felt like. Um, but cutting it and literally picturing and even using your hand and just being like slice and cutting it powerful, powerful, easy process. So on the other levels, so that's the, like a lovely spirit realm. On the other levels, black walnut is amazing for the thyroid because it helps increase the uptake of the thyroid. But this is the difference. If you take, if you're eating a lot of walnuts, it actually reduces the conversion in and through your digestion. 
I've looked for information on how it does this. I have not been able to find information on exactly the mechanism around this. I don't think they actually 100% know, but there's something with the walnuts in the digestion, how it prevents the proper something, the absorption or the processing of the thyroid hormone within the body. But if you're taking the black walnut as a tincture, it is affecting. So your thyroid needs a little bit of iodine, regardless of if it's hyper, hypo, any of that stuff. For a healthy thyroid, you need some iodine, but it's making sure that you're getting the right levels for you and not excessive. Excessive amounts can cause a medical condition. Uh, deficient amounts, the same thing. You need just, it's a sufficient amount. And for everybody, I know they have these numbers on the lab and they're like, you're exactly between one and five. You're, so you must feel okay, even if you're at five. But for you, that might not feel right. So it's the exact same thing with supplements and with minerals and stuff within your body. What feels right for you along that scale of healthy, healthy, normal, right? But what feels right for you? Maybe you feel amazing at three, whereas somebody else feels amazing at one and a half. You get to one and a half and you feel totally out of it. Everybody has a different way in which they present in the world. And that includes with their levels within their body. Those are just guidelines that they've come up with for the average person, right? So thyroid, especially if it's long-term, severe, and hereditary. So we're talking about the hooks. You know what else? Can you think physiologically what else black, black walnut could be used for? If we're talking about cutting the cords, cutting the things that are attached to you that do not serve you and that have negative influences. So the other one? physiologically, is worms and parasites. They do not like this stuff at all. So it's going to help them unhook from you, stop draining you, and purge them. I've used it quite successfully uh, in, I call them pogo caps, and there was an adjustment made for a client that was traveling. And so it was a preventative anthelminic preventing the worms and the intestinal parasites from hooking in while they were traveling down in Mexico. It was great. It totally worked. And it had the benefit of helping keep them cool because they're very cooling to the body. So in the heat that they weren't used to, the client wasn't used to, it was able to help cool their body down and prevent the parasites uh, from taking hold. Yeah. Yeah. It's also very good for skin problems, and often skin problems do stem from an internal. It is an external manifestation of what is happening internally and often with our digestion. So things like acne, shingles, herpes, athlete's foot rash, right? It kills the bugs. Athlete's foot is all about an infiltration of those little microbials that are thriving on us, but we are not thriving when we are itching our feet. So that is... The quick and dirty for Juglans Negra, black walnut, all about cutting the ties, all about removing those things that no longer serve us. How perfect we just had an eclipse, right? It's very clearing and just, mm, even when you're cutting the ties with somebody, you might see a shift in them. So if you're cutting the ties with a past partner, past relationship, and you're like, nope, no thank you, it doesn't necessarily mean that you no longer can have a connection to them. It just means that you're not going to be taken over by them. You're not going to be influenced in the way that you are, you know, like the, oh, I feel so lonely. Oh, I'm so used to these things that are happening. Oh, and like how much you reminisce. But you can look at it now in a sense of sweetness as opposed to feeling taken over by it. And you might notice a reaction in the other person. All of a sudden they might be coming at you more or being like, hey, something feels different because it is different. Okay, so much love and stardust. I will be back tomorrow. Who are we talking about tomorrow? Should I take a sneak peek? Do you want to know? Oh. Oh, I love her. Tomorrow is all about this purple plant. Some people love her. Well, she's green and purple. She's got these beautiful, long, thin stalks with these beautiful tops. And there's like a whole bunch of little flowers on there. She's quite perfumey. But once you get to know her and love her... Oh, you love her for life. She's she's one of my favorites. So that's all I'm going to say. Okay, I am off. i got a couple jobs more to do today and got to head out the door here soon. So, so much love and stardust, but I will talk to you soon. Have yourself a great, excellent day. Bye for now.